Hola, Gordon otra vez con más expresiones idiomáticas. Ok, hope you're all, all alright. Um, so we'll just zoom on. First one, we're into the letter E now. And it is. Eres un crack. <laughs> Eres un crack. Un crack. I recall when I heard that and I said to Cynthia, she said, Ay, Gordon, eres un crack. And I said, what's a cr un crack? What's un crack? And she said, you should know, it's English. Okay. Um, and it is, but obviously <laughs> we don't use it like that and we don't pronounce it like that. So, un crack is an expert. Somebody who's really good at something. So we call it, you know how we would call it a crack marksman. Somebody who never misses. Okay. Um, I, do we say a crack tennis? He's a crack tennis player? I think maybe we do. When we use crack, we're, we're talking about, not crack, crack, we're talking about somebody who's very, very good. Well, the Spanish, certainly uh, uh, the Spanish from Spain, uh, whether that's used in Latin America, I don't know, but it wouldn't surprise me. They say, eres un crack. And I think if you're a woman, una crack. Okay? Um, which just means you're an expert, you're really good at it. So you, somebody, um, somebody's talking really well in Spanish, you can say, Joder, tu español, eres un crack, eh? En cuanto a tu español. You're an expert regarding your Spanish. Okay? Un crack. Um, next one. We're into estar. There are some expressions with estar. This one is estar de broma. Okay, una broma is a joke. Okay, it's a joke. So if you estar de broma, if you are de broma, that means you were joking. Okay, you're not serious. So you can say to somebody, uh, um, a ver, uh, Tengo un problema contigo, eh? Yo tengo problemas contigo. And the, and the person says, ¿Por qué? No pasa nada. Estoy de broma. Estoy de broma. I'm just joking. Okay? So, and uh, somebody, let's say somebody took something too seriously and you say, Joder, no pasa nada. Yo, simplemente, yo estaba de broma. No quería decir nada. I was just joking. I didn't really mean anything. ¿Vale? Estoy de broma. Estar de broma. And sometimes when um, you want to say to somebody, you're joking, on you? Okay? You can say, estás de broma, no? Or quite often they'll use the word coña. Be careful with that one. Be careful. Cause me a lot of problems, okay? But you can, estar de coña. Okay? So you say, Estás de coña, you're joking, on you? Mm -hmm. Estás de coña, estás de broma? Mm -hmm. Equally, you can say, estás bromeando conmigo, you're joking me, right? you're having fun with me? Okay. Vale. Estar en marcha. Estar en marcha. Marcha, okay? That means running. So, excuse me. Ooh. Itchy ear. So when um, you're talking about, for example, an engine, the car is running. You say, bueno, sal, sal de casa, ya está en marcha el coche. Come, come out of the house. Come out of the house because the car's running already. Okay? So, una máquina que está en marcha is running. It also can be used to talk about something that's that now moving. It's, you know, it's, it's in process. Ya está en marcha eh, el plan. The plan's now in process. It's on its way. It's moving. Okay? So, estar en marcha is just running. The word running. Estar listo. Estar listo. Okay? With, uh, with Listo with estar means to be ready. And that means to be ready to do something. So you can say to somebody, Bueno, 
¿Estás listo? So obviously if it was a, a man, you would say, ¿Estás listo? Are you ready? And if it was a woman, you would say, ¿Estás lista? Okay, are you ready? O, ¿Estáis listos? Are you all ready? ¿Ustedes? ¿Están listos ustedes? Are you all ready? Mm -hmm. So, whatever. ¿Ya estamos listos? Are we ready? All ready? Okay. So, I start with listo to be ready. Interestingly, if you change the verb and you say ser listo, okay, you say tú eres muy listo. That doesn't mean ready, it means clever. Clever. That subtle difference between intelligence and cleverness. You know, intelligent like a university professor, clever like a fox. ¿Vale? That's ser listo. Okay? Es una persona muy lista. Mm -hmm. Okay? But estar listo, ready. Ready for action. Bien. <laughs> Me gusta esta, esta expresión. Estar mal de la cabeza. Estar mal de la cabeza. To be sick in the head. Okay? Virtue the same translates virtue the same in English. You can say sorry, que no le que no le prestes atención. Está mal de la cabeza ese hombre. Don't take any notice of him. He's he's sick in the head. He's, he's off his head. Off his head is whatever expression you use in your area to to talk about somebody out of it. Okay. Is it is it tío? Está mal de la cabeza. He's off his rocker. That's what we say. Or off his trolley. We often say, he's off his trolley. And my question would be, what was he doing on the trolley in the first place? But that's another thing. ¿Vale? Ese tío está mal de la cabeza. Okay. <laughs> or you can say that to somebody. ¿Sabes tú? Estás mal de la cabeza. You're off your rocker. You're mad as a hatter. Okay. Ahora ya hemos terminado eh, las expresiones con estar y estamos todavía en la E. Estrechar la mano. Okay. So, estrechar la mano sounds like it's to do this, to shake somebody's hand. Estrecharle la mano. Okay. So, um, how would you say something like that? Um, sí, yo vi, yo vi a um, mi amigo el otro día y le estreché la mano. Okay. Le estreché la mano. I shook his hand. Okay. So, estrecharle la mano a alguien. Shake somebody's hand. Okay. Um, maybe you're not using that much, but it's worth it. Worth knowing, eh? Estrecha la mano. Okay. And then, I think this will be the last one, but this is a really, really valuable one to know. And it's just a simple word, hasta. Okay. Why is it valuable? Because we think, uh, I used to think, hasta just meant until. Okay. Until. Um, voy a trabajar hasta las 12. I'm going to work until 12. Yeah? Hasta mañana, until tomorrow. Okay? And it does mean that. But it also has a subtle meaning. It's used the same way in Spanish as we use the word even. Let me give you the, 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 a sentence. You say, um, um, he's always fighting. He even fights with his mum. Okay? And this is the, what they do is they say, Siempre está, está discutiendo. Ese chico. Siempre discute. Discute hasta con su madre. And what they're doing is they're saying, He argues up to with his mum. But it translates even. He even argues with his mum. Discute hasta um, 
or you see hasta consuma there. I think that's where we would put it hasta. Okay. So um, when you want to say the word even in that sort of you know, um, I've even uh, I've even made a cake. Okay. Hasta preparar una tarta yo. Even. Okay. So. Watch out for that, because that, that sometimes I used to see hasta, and I didn't understand why it was just stuck in some place. So it's normally an action that's that happened with the word hasta. It means he's even done that. He even does that. She even does that. Okay. Bien, vale. Ya hemos terminado. Nos vemos en el, el próximo video, vale. Y voy a poner todas las expresiones en la información debajo de este video, okay? So all the expressions are written down here. Just the expressions, okay? Not the explanations. Vale, hasta luego.